Mercedes Benz India continues to bombard us with new launches. And this GLE facelift is amongst the last for 2023. So, did it leave the best for the last? Well, it's time to find out. The facelift was revealed globally earlier this year and we'd seen the subtle changes made. So, no big update on the design front. You get a redesigned headlight and tail light with a single chrome strip running horizontally across the center of the grille for the AMG line and a double strip on the professional line. So it's still unmistakably a GLE. The bigger changes are on the inside. Now on the inside, the GLE facelift does get a few changes. But the main change that you see here is the way that the dashboard looks. It's now more like an S-Class, so to say, uh, than your normal SUV. And that's good because you see all of those functions trickle down. What it also borrows from the S-Class is this multi-function steering wheel. Again, all these buttons have haptic touch to them. So yes, you get feedback whenever you want to mute it or play the volume up or do anything basically. The good thing now is that you get two 12.3 inch screens. One of course is the infotainment system, which has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all wireless. And one is the driver's display which gives you all the functionality that you need at your fingertips and you have all the information right there. But you know what? There needs to be a special mention of some of the things that are available on this one. Number one, the 13 speaker Burmeister sound system. It sounds absolutely beautiful. Second are the type C ports that are placed all over the car. Again, for charging purposes. Number three, you get 360 degree camera. And number four, is what you found in the GLC. Well, it was introduced in the GLC first and then it came in the EQE. I'll give you two seconds to guess what that is. Yes, I am talking about the transparent bonnet. And it works like a charm, as you can see. It works seamlessly and helps the driver get a clear view of what's under the bonnet and that helps on rough roads. On the engine's front, there is one petrol and two diesel options, but the diesel will come a little later, in 2024 to be precise. What we have with us is the petrol version of the GLE, the most powerful of the lot. So this one has 375 brake horsepower to offer and 500 newton meters of torque. How does that feel? Well, there you go. That's how it feels. But you know what? Helping it get that additional bump of power is a 48 volt mild hybrid system, the ISG, as uh, Mercedes Benz calls it. So zero to 100 kilometers per hour is done in just 5.6 seconds. Now for a bulky car like this, that's quick. And what you might think is that, all right, if I put it in the sport mode, the engine might react faster, the gear shift might react faster. Everything basically will become tauter. Well, it doesn't because this does not have a sports mode. All it has is eco, comfort and off-road. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But you know what? Once you put the pedal to the metal, it reacts pretty quickly. And uh, there's some fun to be had when you put it into a corner. The 4MATIC all-wheel drive system is now standard on the car. There are some changes on the ride quality though. And that's because the 450 petrol and the 450 diesel are the only ones that come with a suspension. Yes, they do. And that makes a lot of difference, especially dealing with, you know, these bad patches because it just glides over it and you don't experience anything on the inside. There is a hint of body roll though, but that affects only the occupants and not you when you are driving. <laughs> I'm being mean, but that is true. 
So overall, ride and quality has been enhanced significantly because of the air suspension. And it does not feel boaty. It feels absolutely smooth. But it is expensive. Compared to rivals like the Audi Q7, BMW X5 and even the Range Rover Velar, the GLE sits right on top as the most expensive of them all. Starting at 96 lakh 40 thousand rupees, the GLE is close to 5 lakh rupees more expensive than before and the one I drove costs over a crore. But it's the addition of all the features and the powerful engine that are noteworthy. However, are there better and cheaper options out there? Of course there are. The Velar and the X5 are miles ahead of the GLE in terms of drivability and sheer presence. Not that Mercedes didn't know about it.